Hello, this video is a small portion of a complete comprehensive video. If you'd like to see this complete comprehensive case and many other complete comprehensive cases, click on the link in the description below. Let's see, I'm first prepping the first molar for a crown because it had a large interproximal filling crack on the tooth. It wasn't sensitive. Now, what if a tooth had been hypersensitive? If it's hypersensitive preoperatively, I'm going to perform endodontics on that tooth 95, 99% of the time because the last thing you want is for a tooth to be hypersensitive once you place the restoration on the tooth. You don't want to have to do endodontics through a crown if you don't have to because it compromises the longevity of the crown. So this is a 330 carbide burr and I use that as a, a depth cut guide. Then this is a clusal reduction burr and I don't have to wonder about how deep, how much occlusal uh, surface to remove because I have the depth cuts on the teeth and it, I just prep to the bottom of the depth cut. This is a coarse football diamond I use this because it cuts pretty quickly and you can do the general part of the preparation with that coarse football diamond. Then I'm coming back with the mosquito diamond and just breaking the contact between the tooth being prepared and the adjacent tooth. Try not to touch the adjacent tooth if it's not being prepared for a crown. So this is a flame shaped fine diamond. I, I'm trying not to go subgingively in approximately if I can help it. This is a coarse barrel diamond, just barely subgingival on the facial. There's no reason to go subgingival most of the time on the palatal. And this is a, fi a fine, small chamfer diamond for the margin. So anytime you've got dentin exposed on the facial, you don't want to prep deeply into that, that dentin unless you're performing endodontics on a tooth because you can make a tooth hypersensitive that was not hypersensitive preoperatively. Rounding the facial interproximal line angles and the interproximal palatal line angle. So she's already done a significant part of the preparation with the abfraction. You're just kind of connecting the tooth to the abfraction. You're not prepping into the abfraction. You're just getting rid of the secondary dentin and smoothing it. Now this is a seating lug, I call it, on the bicuspid teeth on the facial aspect. Objective of this lug is number one, it protects the occlusal margin of the veneer, and number two, you have a definitive seating stop, only breaking the contact between the cusp, from cuspid to cuspid mesial of the right cuspid, mesial of the left cuspid, and then in between the other anterior teeth. And I talk about why in my video on wrapping. Now we're gonna prep the other side. So you'll remember this bicuspid had a large interproximal composite, so we're gonna place a crown on the bicuspid. I'm cutting interproximally with the 330 carbide burr, not touching the adjacent tooth, and then I'll cut my depth cuts into the bicuspid with the 330. This is two millimeters, the cutting part of the tooth, and so that's exactly the depth I want for the occlusal reduction. Some people say reduce a millimeter, a millimeter and a half. I like to reduce two millimeters so the technician has plenty of room for the occlusal aspect of the restoration. We're also placing a crown on the first molar so the first molar and the bicuspid are both receiving crowns. Doing my depth cuts so I don't have to think about how deep to prepare the tooth occlusally. I've got the depth cuts to guide me. It's just an occlusal reduction burr. And I'm coming back with the coarse football diamond. And be very conscious of the dentin exposure. You don't want to prep in very much at all in that area. I'm just gonna roughen it because she's pretty much done the tooth preparation in that gingival one fourth with the abfraction. So you don't wanna make the tooth hypersensitive. If those teeth were hypersensitive before I, pre I was preparing them 
for crowns or even veneers. The patient and I would discuss doing endodontics on the teeth prior to preparation because the thing you don't want is a hypersensitive tooth after the restorations are placed, especially if they had hypersensitivity prior to tooth preparation and the hypersensitivity got worse after crown placement. So ice test them. You can watch my videos on how to test teeth uh, with ice to see if they're hypersensitive. But usually the patient will tell you that they have trouble drinking anything or eating anything that's real cold. And if they do, endodontics on those teeth may be a part of the, the treatment plan. You can see some decay between on the mesial of that molar so I'm using this coarse football diamond to refine the occlusal aspect of the preparation. And I'm coming back with the coarse barrel diamond to continue the refinement of the preparation. Just refining the margin with this fine chamfer diamond. So I'm not prepping much into the tooth right here at all on the facial, on the facial one fourth because the patient has pretty much placed the margin through abfraction. Checking the occlusal reduction, rounding the occlusal facial line angles and the occlusal interproximal and palatal line angles. All right, now I'm prepping the anterior teeth for veneers. I, I like this burr. You want to cut straight between the interproximal contacts. And when you cut the cut between the central incisors, I like to tip the patient up and look at them sitting up square to me. So I'm sure I cut in line with the line perpendicular to the pupillary line. He's right, see I've sit her, sat her up in the chair and here's a line between the pupillary line. So I want this cut to be perpendicular to that line, which is right down the center of the face. That's the dental minute. These techniques work and they work every time. Are you feeling stuck? You know you have more to offer and you can elevate higher in your dentistry practice, but you just don't know how to do it. Well, great news. DentistryMasterclasses.com is here for you. At DentistryMasterclasses.com, Dr. Kerberth is offering his greatest work and his best cases. Here's everything included when you subscribe to DentistryMasterclasses.com. You will get incredible comprehensive cases not seen in Dental Minute videos, an organized library of all the Dental Minute videos and the Dentistry Masterclasses, comprehensive cases for study and reference. You will get before and after pictures of Dr. Kepper's fantastic restored cases. And guess what? All of this is 40 bucks a month. That's right, 40 bucks a month. This is an opportunity you cannot miss. Go to DentistryMasterclasses.com and subscribe today.